بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول کریم دا پرپز آف دس سیشن از ٹو ڈسکس ویری بریفلی دی کانسیپٹ آف سسٹم تھیری آف مینجمنٹ ایز کوائن بائی پروفر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان دس پریزنٹیشن we discuss three components the first component is to give four examples of a system as described by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam second is to relate them with the system theory of management and finally to reach a conclusion first of all this is the hadith which is uh, saying to the nearest effect that there is a part in the body of a person if it works correctly then the entire body works correctly and this is the heart second example that a muslim is a part of the entire muslim society they are like one body so this is another example that muslim society is a one system and each person is a part of it the third example is about islam itself that islam consists of five components or islamic system is consist of five elements and they are shahada salat fasting hajj and zakat and the fourth example is if one element is not working properly then all other elements are affected here the hadith is explaining that if somebody is not praying salat then he is not, not receiving the reward of any other good action this means that he is doing other good amal but since he is not praying therefore it affects the other parts now we are moving towards system and the system theory and first of all we want to know that what is a system so system has been defined as a set of interrelated parts that function as a whole to achieve a common objective similarly this is another definition of system but here the underlying part uh, of it is saying that if one part is not functioning well then the other parts are not working well even it says system stops functioning when an element is removed or changed significantly and this is what the example of salat has been given that somebody is not praying salat then it significantly impacts upon the good actions of a muslim on the other action on the other uh, good actions so here the next question is the what is the system theory of management system theory of management 
means that an organization is a system or sometimes it is called that organization is a grand system and there are other systems working inside it and this means that as an organization when it uh, is considered as a system then when other parts are working or some parts are working correctly then they are contributing towards the entire system and these days the organization system has been divided has been divided into well known components they are called departments and we know that if finance department is not working properly is not supplying the required funds to other departments then it is possible that organization may stop working similarly if marketing department is not working properly then the products or the services are not being sold therefore they are impacting the other parts in this in this uh, perspective the organization is not making any profit because of the lack of sales because of the lack of marketing efforts therefore they are impacting on other parts of the system and here we are explaining the examples we have given about the hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about the system for example the first hadith is describing about the heart if heart is working properly then other parts are working properly and this is the heart is one of the key component because if other parts are not working for example kidneys are not working then the person may live for some time lungs are not working he can live for some time but if the heart is not the heart is not working properly then the life of the person is on risk the second example is that muslim society is like one body if one muslim is affected then the entire muslim society feels the pain and this is what this hadith is explaining the third hadith is showing that islam consists of five components when somebody is uh, saying shahada he enters in the fold of islam but after that his islam is determined when he is practicing other components and uh, this fourth example is saying that salat is one of the key component as the heart is the key component in the body the salat has the same position therefore if somebody is not performing salat this means that he is not receiving the reward of other actions and here the underlined part of uh, this hadith is describing this fact and finally what is the conclusion we can draw from this discussion that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had given four examples about a system and this means that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam laid down 
the concept of a system upon which the system theory of management has been developed. And this system is uh, applicable at individual level as well as, as collective level. For example, the example of Salat is for an individual. If one individual is not praying, then his other actions are affected. Other parts of his Islam's, uh, Islam are affected. And the second example is the example of a body of a Muslim that the Muslim society is a large system. And if one of them, like one Muslim, Muslim or one organization of a Muslim society is not working properly, then it affects the entire system. So, system concept has been put forward by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala enable us to understand it and to spread it to the uh, entire society. This presentation has been taken from my book Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam An Evolution of Management Theory. I take your permission with these words. Wa khur dawana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.